I'd like to uh, gladly introduce Governor Branstad. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Mike Vukovic, thank you for that nice introduction. And um, in 2013, we signed the uh, Teacher Leadership and Compensation Bill here, the, our major education reform here at North High School. So I'm glad to be back today, and it's great to have this opportunity to visit with you about college. Uh, I want to commend North and all the other high schools that are participating in this 2015 Iowa College application campaign for a tremendous effort to encourage students to think about your future. I also want to thank the Iowa College Student Aid Commission and all the other organizations that are supporting this campaign. It is important for students to study hard every day to be prepared for the future. Uh, but we need to recognize that the most promising careers require a college or a career training beyond high school. In fact, Lieutenant Governor Reynolds and I recently called for 70% of Iowans to have college or career training beyond high school by the year 2025. That goal builds on a new report that says that 68% of all jobs in Iowa by the year 2025 will require more than a high school diploma. We want to be sure that we meet that demand, and that's why we've set an even more ambitious goal of 70% uh, achievement by the year 2025. How many of you plan to go on to college or pursue career training behind high school? Raise your hand. Great. Just, just about all of you, and that's what that's really what it's going to take. Uh, I'm glad to see so many hands go up. I'm glad you're really uh, looking for, looking ahead and planning your future. The college application campaign is a crucial step to help Iowa students, especially those who aspire uh, to go on to college if you're the first generation in your family to go to college and overcome some of the barriers there are to higher education. I also know how important it is to reduce the student debt. Uh, it's one of the biggest challenges facing a lot of families today is their student debt from student loans. Uh, and I can empathize with that because my parents didn't have the money to send me to college, but I went to college anyway. I worked construction work during the summer and I worked in the school cafeteria during the school year. I did take out student loans, but only what I absolutely needed. After college, I was drafted. That was back when we had the military draft. This was during the Vietnam era. And I, so I graduated from the University of Iowa. I spent two years in the Army. I came back with the help of the GI Bill then and went to law school at Drake University. And then I had to start paying back my student loans. Um, and, and that program gave you 10 years to pay it back. I was elected governor before I got my last loan paid off. But I never missed a payment. I'm proud to say it was a good investment and it was well worth it. Uh, college is a great investment. It can be life changing. It opens all kinds of doors of opportunity. Uh, I personally can testify to that. I know there's a lot of great opportunities in the STEM field now, science, technology, engineering, and math. My Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds is working with Chris Nelson from Kim and Industries, co-chairing that STEM initiative. And I hope that many of you are looking at that and, and certainly recognize the importance of taking those math and science courses because technology and engineering and math and science are critically important. And now I have a special proclamation I want to read, and then I'm going to open it for questions from the students. So you can see this is on executive department stationery with the state seal affixed. And um, actually, I can read a little better without my glasses. Whereas the college application process may be a barrier for some high school students pursuing post-secondary education due to absence of information or support, and whereas obtaining a post-secondary degree has been linked to higher income, increased employment opportunities, better health, and increased community involvement, and whereas just about one-third of Iowa's adult population over the age of 25 has an associate's degree or higher, and whereas the Iowa College application campaign is designed to increase 
the number of students who apply to and enroll in college with a particular focus on first generation and low income students. And whereas the Iowa College Student Aid Campaign, excuse me, the Iowa College Application Campaign is administered by the Iowa College Student Aid Commission and supported by the Iowa Department of Education, the Iowa Association of College Admissions Counseling, uh, School Administrators of Iowa, the Iowa Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators, the Iowa College Access Network, Iowa's post-secondary institutions of higher education and participating Iowa high schools. And whereas the goal of the Iowa College application campaign is to ultimately increase the number of trained and educated workers in the state of Iowa. Now, therefore, I, Terry E. Branstead, Governor of the State of Iowa, do hereby proclaim this month, October 2015, as College Application Month. So thank you all for being here, and we'll open it to your questions. I am in the middle of what seems to be the longest process of my life. Um, I've applied, finished applying to two schools, Iowa State and University of Iowa, and I've been accepted to both. I'm almost done applying to the University of Kansas and the University, uh, oh, and Colorado State University, but it's been a lot of writing essays and resume writing. I've already started looking into several colleges, uh, Northwestern and Orange City. Um, I want to go look at Luther in Decorah, you know, looking into getting as many scholarships as I possibly can to save money and taking AP courses so I can save money for college.